We are still celebrating the new year, but if you are already struggling with keeping those resolutions, don't give up. Our next guest is here to encourage and to help you reframe your resolutions for success. Joining me now, we have Katie Lewinsky, a registered dietitian from Ascension St. Mary's Hospital. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, I know at the beginning of the year, we have these lofty expectations and goals, and if you don't meet them, well, it kind of sets you up to feel bad about it a little bit. How do you kind of keep focus? Yeah, so definitely helping people stay goal oriented. Um, you know, we want those quick follow ups to see how we're doing and how we can keep progressing with their goals to live that healthier lifestyle. There's in speaking of goals, there's something called smart goals. What's that mm -hmm. about? So smart goals is basically creating goals for yourself that aren't basic. Mm. We want them to be uh, relevant to you, how you do your life, and um, and also kind of have that time, uh, give yourself a time limit. So instead of saying, I want to try um, cooking healthier at home, we say, I'm going to try three new recipes every month. Ah, specific. You know, yes. you want to be, very, you know, it's kind of like holding yourself accountable. Absolutely. A little bit. And speaking of holding yourself accountable, I mean, does a support system, you know, how important is a, su a support system in doing that? Oh, so important. I can say, especially um, clients that I help, um, having that support, that's their favorite part about working with me. It's not, they're not only relying on their self, I get to take some of that work off of them to keep them accountable to meet those goals. And you know, coming out of January, I know we're still in the early part of the month, but coming mm -hmm. out of January, how do you um, suggest for people to just keep those goals and stay on track? So definitely write them down, have them somewhere that you can visualize them and check in with yourself, whether it's um, putting it on your calendar every week. Okay, did I meet my goal? Do I need to um, kind of relook at my goals and make them better and more relevant? Um, to what my lifestyle is now and don't wait too long to reevaluate those. Okay, and just tell people, you know, some of the work that you do and how you work with people in helping them with this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm a registered dietitian, a certified diabetes care and education specialist. Um, I work a lot with weight management, so when patients are coming in, um, I am here to help them meet them where they're at in life and say, okay, what do you want, what are your goals, how can we um, get you to the health point where you want to be and where you need to be. Um, and yeah, any other questions that come along the way. And how can people reach out to you if they're interested in maybe having a consult? Mm -hmm. So they can call the clinic, which is 989-907-7530, uh, or they can ask their primary care doctor um, for a referral to Ascension St. Mary's um, Nutrition and Diabetes Education. All right, Katie. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. Mm -hmm. And of course, we will have this interview up for you on our website, WNEM.com. And if you have any ideas on what you would like to see here on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4PMNews at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4PM News Spotlight.